Welcome to my channel, Danzy Engineer. Today I'm going to show you how to change a filter on a Eurofile or Extralis LASD aspirating panel. This is our aspirating panel. The first thing you need is the key. Without the key, you can't do it. So we're going to power down the aspirator by pulling the battery out and by turning off the mains. And I'm going to undo the screws. Right, you take the cover off and you make sure that these, these parts inside don't slip out or anything. So we're going to put this to one side. This is our filter. So I'm just going to pop this out. Um, it's got a bit of dust in it or whatever. So I'm gonna throw that away. And I'm gonna get my new filter. And literally, you just pop it back in. I mean, what you can do when you've opened up the cover is just give this a hoover. They do get dusty, because obviously it's sucking in um, you know, dust all the time. So just give that a bit of a clean, and you put it back together, making sure that these cards stay in place. And you've gotta make sure that they, you don't swap them around they've got to stay in the same position so we're going to put this back on use our key again and make sure it's all tight enough that there's nothing because if this panel cover isn't on properly um, They'll, you'll break the seal basically, so you might have issues and faults come up. Um, this system also has a harsh environment filter. This is a harsh environment filter. The reason we've got this on the system is because this aspirator is sort of detecting voids which are quite dusty and open to sort of more abuse, you know, dust and what have you. So this is quite simple. We twist it off. This is our filter, so I'm going to throw that one away, so you, you get rid of it. Got my replacement filter. Now, what's important is when you put this all back on, there's a little rubber seal inside here, and you make sure that that sits in a little rim. It should be, it's, it's quite obvious where it goes, but if you don't put that in, it, in its sort of place, in the little sort of rim, you might get faults pop up because air can escape. And literally, you screw that back on. And there we go. That's it. So you don't wash filters, you throw them away. How often do you need to change them? It all varies on the environment that you're, um, that the aspirator is protecting. So this particular one, because it is pretty dusty, we actually change it every three months. A bit over the top, but the client sort of, it, they specified that basically so they don't get problems and faults pop up. And that is it. Once I've changed the filter, I'm gonna liven back up the aspirator uh, and probably leave it for about five or 10 minutes to let it stabilize and make sure that no faults or, any, or anything have popped up. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and please like this, share it, and follow me on LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook. Goodbye.